Hello, everyone. Here we talk about cash discount. After the treaty negotiation is finished, the deal has been made. There will be a period for the payment to be settled for the treaty agreement. The seller hopes that buyer will pay the money as soon as possible. During this period, the seller may offer further discount to encourage the buyer to pay money earlier. The discount happened in this payment settling period is called a cash discount. So this kind of cash discount offer being stated on the invoice, and it shows as ordinary dating. The payment policy, including the condition for receiving cash discount, is stated on the invoice. Here's the format. Two ten means if the payment is done within ten days, started from the date showing on the invoice, then the cash discount would be applied. N thirty, which means the net price would be paid within thirty days. So N represents net price, thirty represents length of credit period. The net price should be paid within the credit period. If the payment is made within the discount period, then. Two percent discount would be applied. The relationship between list price and the net price with treat discount D would be translated to the relationship between the credit and actual payment with cash discount D. So the net price equals the list price multiplied one minus D. D is called the rate of treat discount, and then here, actual payment PMT equals the credit multiplied one minus D. Here, D is considered as cash discount. When you make a payment of one hundred dollar without any discount, you will receive one hundred dollar credit. If five percent cash discount is offered, you do not have to pay one hundred dollar to receive one hundred dollar credit. You only need to pay ninety five dollar to receive one hundred dollar credit, since you have five percent cash discount. There are two typical special dating on invoice when the shipping period is considered. End of month dating. Shorted as EOM, available cash discount period starts from the end of purchasing month. So the date shows on the invoice and shows the month as well. So since shipping period is considered, automatically shipped the cash discount period from end of the month. If we have E O M labeled, receipt of goods R O G, available cash discount period start from the goods receiving date. If the shipping with a long period is expected, here's some example. First one, determine the payment needed to settle an invoice with a net amount. Of nine hundred fifty dollar dated September twenty second, terms two ten and thirty. If the invoice is paid on October ten, or on October first, so there are over ten days from September twenty second to October ten. That means already exceeded ten days discount period. So the payment should be paid in full, net amount nine hundred fifty dollar. If the payment is done on October first, October first is within ten days period from September second, so the payment can have two percent discount.
In that case, the payment should be made with nine hundred thirty-one dollar. This is the result after two percent discount is applied. Example two: three invoices with term five ten, three twenty, and N sixty are paid on November fifteen. The invoice are for six hundred forty-five dollar, dated September thirty. Seven hundred six dollar, dated October twenty-six, and five hundred eighty-six dollar, dated November seven. What is the total amount paid? So here we notice the term five ten. That means if payment done within ten days, five percent discount would be applied. Followed with three twenty. So if payment exceeded ten days but still within twenty days, three percent discount would be applied. And N sixty. If the payment exceeded twenty days, and the net price must be paid within sixty days. So we only need to check the days. From September thirty to November fifteen, we have forty-six days. So here we have three invoices dated on the different days, but they all paid on the same day, November fifteen. And for next the invoice, twenty days from November fifteen. And the last invoice, eight days. From November fifteen, so in that case, the first invoice will not get discount, and the second invoice will have three percent discount, and the last invoice will have five percent discount. Finish this calculation. We can get the answer. Total payment one thousand. Eight hundred eighty-six dollar fifty-two cents should be made. Example three: George Brown Inc. has received an invoice of two thousand seven hundred eighty dollar, dated August twenty-eighth. Terms to ten. Here we simply ignored the net price uh, credit period, so just the question. Doesn't have to bother that part, so not being mentioned. What payment must be made on September fifth to reduce the debt by one thousand dollar? Second situation says to reduce the debt to one thousand dollar. So different condition in each case, how much should be paid? September fifth. To the invoice date August twenty eighth. That's within ten days period, so two percent discount should be applied. If we want to reduce that by one thousand dollar, that means we receive credit one thousand dollar. So if we receive credit one thousand dollar and we have two percent cash discount, we don't have to pay one thousand dollar. We only need to pay nine hundred eighty dollar. Second situation says decrease debt to one thousand dollar. So that means leftover or outstanding balance of the debt. Will be one thousand dollar. In that case, we got credit. Is the difference twenty seven hundred eighty dollar and one thousand dollar? So give us one thousand seven hundred eighty dollar. Towards receiving one thousand seven hundred eighty dollar credit, and we have two percent discount. So. How much we need to pay? Finish this calculation, which is one thousand seven hundred forty-four dollar forty cents. Example four: Applewood Supplies received a payment of eight hundred seven dollar fifty cents 
from Main Street service on October 7, on the invoice $2,231.75 dated September 28th, with term 510. So two conditions. The first one, for how much should Applewood credit Main Street Service account for the payment? And the second, how much does Main Street Service still owe the invoice? So that's two part question. So the question give us idea. Applewood Supply received the payment, so actual payment eight hundred seven dollar fifty cents, and the payment received is within ten days. So in that case, five percent discount should be applied. So if we use X to represent the credit. That Main Street got from the payment, then the credit apply five percent discount would get the actual payment eight hundred seven dollar fifty cents. So that's why credit X come from eight hundred seven point five divide by zero point nine five, give us eight hundred fifty dollar. That is the credit. With eight hundred fifty dollar credit received, so outstanding balance of the debt would be from the original invoice net price two two three one point seven five minus eight fifty give us left over one thousand three hundred eighty one dollar seventy five cents. Example five: an invoice for. One thousand two hundred thirty-three dollar ninety-five cents, dated July sixteen, terms to ten E O M, is paid on August ten. What is the amount paid? What is the amount paid? So here we have a special dating E O M. In this case, the starting. Date of cash discount would automatically shift to end of the month, so the invoice date July sixteen, end of the month would be July thirty first. In that case, August ten would be exactly on the last day of the cash discount would be applied, so two percent discount should be applied. In that case. We finish the calculation. See how much should be paid. So one thousand two hundred thirty-three dollar ninety-five cents. Take out the two percent. Get one thousand two hundred nine dollar twenty-seven cents should be paid. So these are some examples to help you understand how cash discount would be applied, and the ordinary dating, special dating. Were explained clearly. See you next time.